everyone, welcome to today's video. I just returned from a five day vacation in Huntington Beach, California with my husband and kids for spring break. And the weather was unfortunately a little bit cooler than we had hoped for. It was still beautiful, we still had a great time, but we were kind of hoping for mid 70s and sunny, and we got upper 60s and sometimes sunny and sometimes really, really windy. So we did a little bit of shopping while we were there. I'm not someone who likes to spend every day all day at the beach anyway because I do get a little bored. So I already, I'm not gonna lie, had plans to go shopping at South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa, California, which is about 10 minutes inland from the Newport Beach, Huntington Beach area. And I absolutely love that mall. I posted a photo on my Instagram story of the trunk of my car after I had gone shopping and there were several bags and I put the disclaimer that not all of these were mine and I got a lot of comments from people saying, sure Risa, sure they're not all yours. But honestly, they weren't. I went shopping with my son and my aunt, so not everything that was in the trunk, not all of those bags were mine. But I did do some damage on this trip at both South Coast Plaza and at Sephora, so if you would like to see what I picked up during my vacation, then please keep on watching. All right, let's start with what I am currently wearing. This top is from Abercrombie. It was a last minute purchase. I didn't even try it on. My son was in the fitting rooms trying on jeans and t-shirts and I was just outside. My aunt and I were just sitting outside the fitting rooms waiting for him and I spotted this top. I thought it was really me and I had just purchased these jeans that I will show you here from Free People and I thought that it would look really cute together. Now these jeans, I realized that these are not going to be for everyone. In fact, it wasn't until I put this outfit together that I really felt like I loved the jeans. I really like a high-waisted jean and I really like a 70s sort of vibe. Now I was born in the 70s, but I was really young in the 70s, so I didn't get a chance to really partake of 70s fashion. My aunt did though, she's 21 years older than me, and when I was telling her that I had these jeans that were sort of a 70s vibe with a cropped flare, she kind of made this face like, I don't know about that, you know, that been there, done that sort of face. The bottom line is I purchased the jeans, but I wasn't 100% sure I was going to keep them until I got back to my hotel room and put this entire outfit on and just felt really good and really cute in it. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of you out there that are going to comment, Risa, I'm not into those jeans. They're not doing it for me. Honestly, it doesn't matter to me. We need to wear what we like and what we feel good in. So even if you hate the jeans and you feel the need to tell me, that's fine, but I'm still going to wear them. I'm still going to link them for anybody else who may be interested because let me tell you they are so so comfortable and they're lightweight so they're perfect for spring and summer. Oh and the earrings I'm wearing are from Express. So Abercrombie, the jeans are free people, the earrings are from Express. My shoes are Dolce Vita. I purchased them from Nordstrom last summer. I love these shoes. They are so so comfortable. So here is an outfit that I got at Zara. I adore these jeans. Once again, they are high-waisted. I love the slit. I have another pair of jeans from Zara that also have a slit on them, but they're a little bit different from these. These do not have holes in the knees. My other ones do. I love to wear jeans. I know some people never wear jeans. I adore putting together jeans and a cute top with heels. That is my go-to look. Now I am 5'7", so if you are shorter than 5'7", or you don't plan to wear three, four inch heels, you are going to need to get these hemmed. I am not sure if they come in petite, but clearly they are long jeans. And I was super excited that I didn't have to go up a size or even two, like I normally do when I am buying Zara jeans. These are true to size. Because these jeans are so high-waisted, I can actually feel comfortable pairing them with a cropped top. I'm really, really picky when it comes to tops. If they are cropped, they have got to be worn with something high-waisted so that I'm not showing a lot of belly skin. I just don't like to do that. And what I loved about this particular Zara at South Coast Plaza was that they had self 
check out. That is one of my biggest complaints when it comes to shopping at Zara is that their lines get so incredibly long. We got there right at 10 a.m. and by the time we were ready to check out, the line was already probably 10 people deep and they had two people working the register. And I honestly didn't even notice the self-checkout area until my son pointed it out to me and this sales associate said, if you're paying by card, we can do self-checkout. And it was so quick and easy. The self-service area, it knows what you have in your hands. And all of a sudden, what I was holding, the jeans in the top, and what my son was holding, a jacket, they all just appeared on the screen. And then you take them off the hangers and you just put them in a bag and you pay. It was incredible. I think they need to install these in every Zara around the world. So those are the only clothing items I purchased and that was on our shopping trip to South Coast Plaza. But the day before, when we first arrived, we met my aunt and uncle, my cousin, her boyfriend, and their new baby. We met them for lunch at this area called Pacific City. Just like our hotel, it's right across from the ocean. It has a lot of shops and restaurants and we ate lunch and then we went over to Sephora. I should say we ate lunch and had a few drinks and then went sort of buzzed shopping at Sephora and it was the last day of the spring savings event where I could get 20% off. So I just grabbed a basket and started putting things into it. So you will not have seen any of these items in the haul that I already posted last week. These are all new to me items. I was clearly in a hair product mood because I purchased three things. First, I got this K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. This is actually going back. Well, let me back up. I heard such good things about this mask. So many influencers that I follow were raving about it. It's supposed to be just this incredible um, reparative mask. It's been in development for 10 years. I actually did use it today and I really, really liked it. That said, this particular one is going back to Sephora because when I got home from my trip, I opened the few PR packages that I had received while I was away, and this was one of the items I got as PR. So I'm going to return this one. Or honestly, I really like it, so maybe I will keep it just to have it for when I run out of the one I was sent. So I got this. I got this Way texturizing hairspray. My cousin who was with us, she has the most beautiful, perfect, beachy wave hair, and she said this is her favorite, that she tried them all. I feel like I have tried them all as well, including, I thought, this one. But then when I got it back to my hotel room and I used it that night, it occurred to me that I may not have actually tried this product. I think it was the dry shampoo from Way that I've used in the past. But I do really, really like this. It smells fantastic. I didn't do a lot of like curls today. I did more of just a soft wave, but it does give a lot of volume and texture. And I did do beachy waves the night that I got this spray and it really worked well. I actually think it worked pretty well just now. And then because I was at the beach and I was doing everything I could to fight frizz, I picked up this one minute transformation from Color Wow. I do have the anti-frizz spray, the Supernatural spray, and I did bring it and use it on this trip. However, my hair still got frizzy. And I had seen a TikTok a while ago from Chris Appleton, who is a celebrity hairstylist, who also is a representative for Color Wow. He uses a lot of their products. I had seen him demonstrate this one minute transformation that instantly re-moisturizes and eliminates frizz and it looked amazing. The before and after on the model he used was incredible. So I decided to give this a try and it really did work. I don't think I'll be using it so much here in Las Vegas because my hair really doesn't frizz in our 0% humidity or our 5% humidity, but it really does instantly, if you kind of like work it into your hair, it really does transform it and get rid of any frizz. So I would definitely recommend this product to anyone who lives in a humid climate and struggles with frizz. And I'm not saying the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray isn't good, it just wasn't enough. I don't know if it's my hair texture or if it was just extra humid when I was there, but my hair still got super frizzy and then I would go in with this and it would be at least a little bit better. 
I was about to say that this next product was another impulse purchase, but truthfully, these were all impulse purchases. I just went into Sephora because my aunt wanted to go in and my cousin wanted to go in, and I just followed them in and then ended up with, I think like $250 worth of stuff. This alone was like 60, even after the 20% off. This is the Isle of Paradise Dark Self Tanning Oil Mist. I love trying new self tanners and I have never tried one from Isle of Paradise. I've heard mixed reviews, which I think is one of the reasons why I never purchased an Isle of Paradise tanning product before, but clearly I decided that it was time to try one of their products. I have not yet used this. I think I'm going to use it tonight and I will report back in my monthly favorites and fails and let you know what I think of this particular tanner. I've never used a tanning oil mist before. I usually like my self tanners to have some sort of tint to them so I can see where the product is going. So this could either go very, very good or it could go very, very bad. I did grab a few makeup items as well. I purchased the Natasha Denona I Need a Rose Lip Crayon in Daphne and the I Need a Rose Gloss also in Daphne. And I adore the combo. It is what I'm currently wearing. And then they had in store, which they didn't have in store or even online, I don't think, when I was shopping previously during the event. This is the new limited edition NARS Summer Unrated eyeshadow palette. I've really, really liked NARS eyeshadow palettes for years. I've only used this twice so far, but I really, really like it. It's a beautiful color story. It is definitely perfect for summer. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are creamy and blendable and pigmented. Today I just did a light wash of the pinkier shades and then put a little bit of sparkle on my lid and then some liquid liner and it was just a really easy look. But when I used this the other night, I went a little bit more dramatic and I absolutely loved it. And I paired it with the Natasha Denona lip combo as I did today and I'm really happy with this purchase. I'm really happy that they had it in store so that I could buy it that day and get my discount. And then finally, I purchased this concealer from Rose Ink. It is called the Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. I can't really tell you how I feel about this yet. My first impression was that it was nice. I'm just not sure I got the right color. This is a little light for me. But when I swatched the other shades, the two darker ones after this, they both looked really yellow. And I don't really like anything very yellow under my eyes. I want it to be either peachy toned or kind of neutral. I liked the undertone of this 030, but when I applied it to my under eyes, it kind of looked a little bit light. So I do want to test it out a couple more times before I give you my final verdict on it. I might actually do a concealer roundup video because I have tried several new concealers lately and I know um, a lot of you like to see those um, roundup videos or maybe a ranking video. So that is everything I got at Sephora. I do have one last thing to show you as part of this vacation haul and that is a bag I got at Balenciaga. In the past, I would say year and a half to two years, I have really gotten into luxury handbags and I've wanted this one for a while. I actually wanted to get the white. I went in wanting this particular bag in white. I had seen it at the Balenciaga here in Las Vegas at Crystal's. I went in, I made sure that my phone could fit in it, I made sure that I could put in a compact and a lipstick, that it wouldn't be so tiny that I wouldn't be able to use it for anything. So I didn't end up purchasing it that day here in Vegas. I did end up leaving my MAC powder compact in the bag <laughs> because when I got back to my room, I noticed that my compact was missing and so I thought, oh, I must have left it in the Balenciaga when I was trying to see if everything could fit. So as I was saying, I didn't purchase a bag that day, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I decided that when I went to South Coast Plaza, I was going to get it if they had it, and they did have it. But then the sales associate said that they had just gotten in this new color, this beautiful soft gold. How cute is this? And oh my goodness, I just remembered I have a pair of shoes that I got as well that I forgot to show you. 
So I will show them to you after this. And the shoes I actually did buy online, pick up in the store at Nordstrom. I had not seen them in person. I just saw them on the website, thought they were really pretty, saw that they had them at the South Coast Plaza location, did the buy online, pick up in store, and lo and behold, the gold of that shoe is exactly the same as this gold. Because you know, sometimes golds can be very different. They can be very bronzy or yellow, or they can just be different. And these two golds match up perfectly, the shoes and this bag. And I personally think this is a great neutral color. You can hold it by the top handle or it does have a strap, an adjustable strap that you can attach to wear it crossbody. I'm just really happy with my purchase. I'm really excited that I got it. I know it doesn't look like you can fit much in here, but again, I made sure that I could at least fit my phone, a compact, and a lipstick. Honestly, whenever I'm out and about, I always have my phone in my hand anyway, so I really just needed space for a compact, um, a card holder, and here are the shoes that I almost forgot to show you. They are from Schutz. I personally love a lace-up sandal. I think they're really, really sexy, and I find Schutz shoes to be extremely comfortable, and I also do find that they run true to size. I wear a size seven in most shoes and I took a seven in these. I am definitely going to be wearing these a lot this spring and summer. Something else I almost forgot to show you is this top from Urban Outfitters. I actually purchased this in ivory at the Urban Outfitters store here in Las Vegas and I loved it so much that when I saw it in black at the Pacific City store, I just had to get it. It's cute, comfortable, and right around $50 so it's not too expensive. So that is it. That is everything from my spring break 2022 vacation haul. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and join the Risa Does Makeup family. I do upload new content at least twice per week. You can also find more content from me on Instagram and TikTok. The username is the same everywhere. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.